Being able to draw graphs when taking notes with Microsoft OneNote is a very useful functionality. To add a graph, simply go to the Draw menu and there in the Shapes section you will find shapes representing some of the most frequently used graphs. There are three graph types available. Two dimensions positive, two dimensions full and three dimensions. When you click on any of the shapes and then click on the place in your notes where you want the graph to appear, OneNote will create an empty graph. You can then add lines and other shapes to the graph to show functions or other elements. Simply select the needed shape from the shape section of the draw menu. In both cases, Microsoft OneNote will draw the empty graph and the shapes you add with the ink type you have selected. To change the ink type to draw with, simply pick the needed pen from the tools section of the draw menu. If you want to change the ink for an already existing object, simply mark it and then click on Pen Properties button in the context menu that appears. You will have the same choices as in the tools section in the menu. Interestingly enough, you can choose the color and the thickness of the lines, but you cannot choose the dash type of the line, so you can only draw solid lines. This is a strange mess in Microsoft OneNote. Of course, you can imitate this needed functionality by drawing many shorter solid lines. You can also do it with the help of hand drawing, but it will not look equally nice compared to if you had made it with proper dash type selection. Another workaround can be that you draw the needed line in, for instance, Microsoft PowerPoint, and then simply copy and paste it to Microsoft OneNote. This will give a nice look of the line, but will require you to open PowerPoint and perform the additional steps of copying and pasting. Microsoft OneNote has an interesting tool to help you with drawing your lines, the ruler. When you click on the ruler button, there will be a virtual ruler shown on your screen. You can move the ruler around simply by dragging it. You can rotate the ruler by moving your mouse cursor over the central circle displaying the angle and rotating your mouse wheel. When you have adjusted the angle of the ruler as needed, you can simply draw a line along it. Just select the ink you want to use and draw the line manually. If you draw your line close enough to the ruler, one node will snap the line to draw to the ruler and you will get a nice straight line. By the way, this could be another way of working around the fact that it is not possible to select the dash type of the lines that are drawn. To make the ruler disappear, simply click on the ruler button again. If you want to show a graph with one of the negative quadrants of the Cartesian coordinates, you can use the two dimensions full graph, this will give you all four quadrants. However, if you only want to get one of the other quadrants, you can get the two dimensions positive graph and then simply flip it horizontally or vertically as you need. If you want to work with a 3D graph, you can use the three dimensions graph. However, the graph that is added to your notes is not so much of a 3D graph. Eventually, the icon representing it in the menu looks better than the actual graph. Interestingly, here the system adds a graph with a dashed line. You can also add graphs by drawing them by hand. Depending on how good you are and if you draw with a mouse or a pen, you will get a different look of the graphs. There is however one interesting function that can make your hand drawings, not only graphs, to look slightly better. If you before drawing click on the Ink to Shape button in the Draw menu, the system will try converting your manual drawings to the closest standard shape it has. This will require some practice, but can give good results. To get a drawing of a graph to be converted to a graph, you will have to draw it and then draw an arrow at the end of the lines. If you do it right, Microsoft OneNote will recognize this as a graph and convert your manual drawing to the corresponding shape. Be sure to check out our other videos to learn more on how to use Microsoft OneNote and other Office applications.